hi guys welcome back to the channel a pleasant good day to each and every one of you it is a beautiful day here today today I'm gonna be cooking with a different country and guess what country it is it is Barbados so I'm heading to one of my sisters from church and she's gonna be showing me how to prepare one of her popular dish in her country and this is a sister that I respect a lot we teach Sunday school together and she is an amazing woman of God I can't tell you how uh, much I appreciate this sister so her name is Carol and you guys will get to meet her soon I found this cute little orchid and when I see it I said right away I'm gonna get one for her because I love orchid and I have never seen the mini ones and I'm pretty sure she's gonna like it as well so I'm taking a little orchid for her and she offer to provide all the ingredients that she's going to be um, showing me one of her popular dish with so i don't have to bring anything today but i made one of our street food in guyana to share with her so when we get there i will share everything with you all so come on down and let's cook with barbados today so i'm here at sister carol's house we're gonna ring her doorbell so before we start the cooking, of course I have to share Sister Carol's beautiful vegetable garden with you guys. Not only Guyanese, but people from all over that came to Canada, they try to plant a kitchen garden during the summer months. She have potatoes as you guys can see, and she's planting these in pots. She have some on the ground. The ground in her backyard, she said, is very hard. So she tried to plant as much as she can in some raised beds. And you will see as I go along, she did a very good job with the raised beds. And she adds soil in there and she planted pretty much all of her vegetables in the raised bed. Check out these tomato plants. Every day she can run out and pick fresh and make her delicious garden salad she also have lots of different peppers in her garden these are the red hot chilies she also have the banana peppers and a whole lot more i know exactly where to go when i need some peppers and these are the banana peppers they're coming up nicely i had my share of some chilies and banana pepper one thing with Sister Carol, she always liked to share. And these are more pepper here. So what she does, she would freeze them. And in the winter, she have all her fresh garden vegetable to use over the cold winter season. Right here is a nice cherry tomato plant. And right beside that here in this raised bed is where she planted some potatoes these ones are not ready yet but i can see a little tiny one right there this is amazing i love that she have different kind of vegetables and plants in her garden right here this is her cucumber raised bed and i like how she's reusing the broken branches from the trees around her neighborhood and she's making these be beautiful trellis for the cucumbers to run on there is a lot of cucumbers in here as you can see there's one right here there's another one here and there's so many in between look at that beautiful when you come out here you have your cucumbers lettuce tomatoes everything to make a fresh salad So right here, this is a Rose of Sharon plant, beautiful flower. Over here is a raised bed of zucchini and some watermelon. This one here is a super cute mini watermelon. Look at that. There's about three in here. There's another one there. And there is one right here. So cute. 
I just love this. There is a little bit of everything in this we garden. Have some peppers here. All nice and red and hot. These are chilies too, right? And they're hot? Yeah. Yeah, hot chilies. And these are onions that she's keeping for seed. And then over here she has more potatoes. This is the one that she just dug up and these are the small potato because she said the ground is very hard on the bottom. These are all potatoes down here. This is lettuce right here. Romaine lettuce. This is more potato. And check this pumpkin right here. This is a pumpkin. There's a big, huge zucchini right there. Look at that zucchini. Oh my goodness. And then... There is another zucchini right here. There is one right here. And then there's more butternut squash and another pumpkin right there. The Carol have a compost barrel that was made by her brother-in-law. And she's gonna show us here. This is the hatch on the bottom. So this is where you would take out. Oh, that's where you take out your compost. Right? Oh, nice, some peanut shells. Yeah, so. Um, all of that's breaking down. Okay. Right. And okay, so, and don't mind the flies. Yeah, and that's the compost in there. That yeah, it's and breaking down for next summer or any time. Any time. Okay. So I, if to take out, I would go down through the bottom to, and take the, out because the bottom is what has. It's older. Yes. Yes. Right? So she'll take down from the bottom first. Because every time she gets new ones, she'll put from the top. And this is one good way of fertilizing the plant instead of using chemicals. Yeah, we don't use any chemicals. We don't use chemicals too because it's bad for the soil. Yeah. And, and what I like about another thing that they do is that they collect rainwater in these barrels. And she has four. She has two here and two on the other side. And instead of using water every day from the tap she used rainwater to water her garden which is amazing so she's not only planting a garden in free hand she's doing all the extra work to keep a organic garden as well so sister carol calls this um the broadleaf time just like us in guyana and she have a beautiful hibiscus here with two flowers nicely open and it's budding again she have her rosemary here and i see a fresh basil coming up and her strawberry you have the white strawberry no oh because i see a white strawberry It'll turn. oh okay turn. so her and strawberry your leaves look very nice and long that's why we have and this we have back and home too and we call this croton yeah, i think I i'm gonna ask her what she called that and this is her basil basil and this is an okra plant she called it spinach and we call it poi bhaji okay it's got malabar spinach it's actually my neighbor they give that one yeah she's from my country yeah. oh, okay Those okay and this is her mint here yeah. And she have the, f um, the curly. curly parsley, flat leaf parsley, and thyme. this is the thyme. fine thyme. Yeah. I love thyme. There's two types in there because one is the trend. I almost forgot to share the bean plant and she have the yellow bean in here. There's a lot. And these ones hold up very nicely in the cold weather as well. And over here she have another kind of bean. This one here. There are so many on the plant. Look at this. So her garden is so beautiful. And I like how she's really using up all the um, broken branches. The, she's doing her own compost and rainwater to water the garden. Like so amazing. All the time she put into this garden is amazing. So all this potato here. Sister Carol harvest from her garden and this is just amazing this to harvest potato in this the space of three months is amazing and these little ones sister Carol is nice to bake yeah 
and they finish quick time. You don't even peel them. Yeah, you wash them clean and yeah. then it's so nice. This is onions from her own garden right here. Look how many. And she have way more than this. This is just the best feeling ever. So Sister Carol is showing us today how to make one of her country's popular dish, right? And this is called? Cuckoo. Cuckoo. So it's a national dish. It's a national dish. I'm going to let her tell you. And you can say hi, Sister Carol. She is Hello. such a lovely person. I have such great respect <laughs> for Sister Carol. And today I'm so happy. You can share one of your country's yeah. national dish with me. And my viewers and subscribers will also be happy to see what it is. And she's going to tell us what it is now. So today we're going to make a uh, cuckoo, which is the Barbadian national dish. It's usually cuckoo and flying fish, but we mm -hmm. don't, we're not doing flying fish. We're going to do an okra slush with it with um, salted cod or salt fish. That's amazing. Sounds good already. <laughs> So she's cutting up the okra. I, I like to try different um, culture food or different country dish because we have a lot of similarities. Yes. We cook okra too and um, we cook it with salted fish as well. But I never had it your way that you're going to make it with the um, corn meal. Yes. So we still have something in similarities, which is amazing. And I see here that she have her onions and garlic chopped up and i'm pretty sure this this is from your garden right yeah yeah so she used a lot of natural stuff from her garden she also plants her own okra uh today we're not using the ones from her garden but she do have okra plant in her garden as well check out this salt that sister carol used it is a herbal salt and here it is it's an organic herbal salt sea salt and she said there's some celery and some nice herb in there and this is the one she used in her cooking i have never seen it but she said you can find it from costco so i had to share this salt with you all because i think there is a curly parsley basil rosemary i see here um it looks like leeks and another herb looking like oregano uh, this is amazing and I'm gonna give it a try since it can be found at Costco for sure I'll go check for this the next time thank you for sharing this with me sister Carol you're welcome so she already soaked the salted fish overnight boil it out and she just break them up into small pieces she just finished chopping up the okra and now she's getting some spinach from her garden. So Sister Carol is just adding a little bit of warm water into the cornmeal before she add it to the pot with hot water. So you're giving it like a kick start. Mm -hmm. Okay. So into the warm water with the flavored salt. Sister Carol is adding her okra and she's calling this a okra slush. Yes. Okay. So we will see the result after. I'm very excited to learn about this dish. So once the color changed to a brighter green, that's when she know it's time to add the other ingredients. So Sister Carol is adding the onions and the garlic into the okra now that it's boiling up. And the salted fish. And the salted fish. This is going to be one delicious pot. My favorite salted fish. She's adding some black pepper. She just add the spinach freshly picked from her garden. It smells nice. Mm -hmm. I like that smell from the okra. Yeah, it has a really nice fresh kind of vegetable. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. It smells a little bit like a soup mm -hmm. because you just added the black, black pepper. pepper right. Mm, amazing. 
put the stove on medium heat she said you can cover it down so there's a little opening here so the steam can come out and avoid the pot from running over so she have another pot going here with some water and the seasoned salt and she just added some more okra and this is the pot she's going to be boiling the cornmeal into Because you just want to give it a little... Yeah, a little bit of the tomatoes in there. So Sister Carol is straining the water from the okra that she just cooked with the flavored salt. I can hold that for you if you want. Let me see if I can. Wow. Sister Carol just pour half of that okra liquid back into the pot and I'm just going to show you how this is doing over here. This is the salted fish, the it's okra and Super the spinach. Color. Yeah, it's almost done. It's have a beautiful color and all the vegetable is still fresh in there. She's going in with the cornmeal little by little and she said for this one, she needs some muscles because you have to keep turning it or else it will get lump. It get lumpy and then it will get hard. Okay. So. so this process here is the technical one. And we usually have a kahu stick that oh. is just a wooden, it's a straight stick. Okay. But we learn to use your spoon here. Right. Need some more. Yeah, some more liquid. So she just added a little bit more of the liquid, and she's gonna add the rest of the cornmeal. Mm -hmm. You don't want any lumps. Okay. And she said there's a special stick back home that they use to store this with. But today we're using a regular wooden spoon. Thyme um, and lime or mm -hmm. lemon. Yes. And then uh, the same. The seasoning, the seasoning so, sauce. Yes. This smells just like sauce. Yeah. My mouth is drooling. <laughs> I love the lemon in it. I'm glad that you, you, you're you using lemon. I prefer lemon over the vinegar. No, we, we don't use vinegar. Yeah. It's, it's usually limes yes. because we can grow, we have our own lime tree. Yes, yes. But. So this is the display of the finished product. And to get it with this shape, Sister Carol put some butter in a little bowl and she put some of the um, cornmeal cuckoo. mixture cuckoo and she shake it up and get it to a nice shape. Then she put a well and she adds some of this beautiful fish with okra and spinach and the liquid in here. It, uh, they always serve it with the pickle. With the pickle. Yeah. And they always serve it with the pickle. This is, I see the whole process, how it was made. Such a healthy, I must say, a very, very healthy dish. So I'm gonna be tasting this very soon and let you guys know how this tastes. Today I'm sharing our Guyanese back home street food popular snack with Sister Carol and this Ooh. is made out of cassava so I season the cassava you boil it and season it and then you wrap it up with a surprise in the middle that I want you to put one on a plate cut it open and you'll see and then I made some fresh mint chutney okay. so this have mint cucumber garlic, a little piece of green chili, and a pinch of pink Himalayan salt. So, Sister Carol, if you can try one. So we're sharing dishes today. I said it's not fair for Sister Carol to prepare this whole meal from her country, from Barbados, for me without me letting her try something from my country. So cut open, and the surprise is in the middle. Oh, so it can work as a breakfast. Nice. It can work as a lunch, a quick 
snack to go and we serve it back home with mango chutney okay. or mango sour so it's mango cooked with garlic pepper and some salt but today because i have so much mint and i know that we always talk about the garden and stuff like that i would like maybe put a little on your plate and try it first and see if you like it with the mint chutney we had it with mint chutney and it's really really good or pepper sauce or you can have it with some hot pepper sauce how is that there's mint it cucumber tastes, it tastes like our pudding oh really mm -hmm. well i'm glad that you're gonna like it so you can try you can try it and let me know what you think about about this dish i want a piece of yeah, the egg yeah that's how it's supposed to eat you cut it with a piece i want to eat it without the chutney first okay yeah and try. then try it you sure when she's tasting so we get a good um review of how it tastes so the cassava is mm -hmm. boiled mash really nice yeah really nice did you ever had this before no because so we glad. never we, we don't i have cassava but not with this no this way, yeah this is nice okay and it's an alternative to a canadian breakfast you exactly. know exactly you have um instead of potatoes you can use potato for this as well right because sometimes you can't find cassava right right so you can wrap it into potatoes mm -hmm. and it's a nice potato and egg breakfast or if you find cassava and i try to do it with cassava as much as i can i don't know which i like better with or without i know so try half with and half without so i ha i bring you these ones thank you to share with you and your family thank you we'll, because you're we'll sharing love your meal with me as well so yeah. i'm gonna be trying hers mm. carol i didn't tell you the name of it we call this egg ball okay so wow. it's like a ball with egg inside so that's the name that we call it but yes. it's very popular in guyana love the cassava though yes i'm with big smile trying barbados national dish one of them today and i really do appreciate the time sister carol take to show us and make this entire meal to share with all of you guys we really do appreciate this so i'm going in for the cuckoo which is the cornmeal part and a little bit of the um, okra, the slush. So cheers. Oh my God. It tastes like a nice fresh okra soup that we make. You know when we make a nice fresh okra soup, the cornmeal tastes something like a dumpling kind of. Amazing flavor. The salt is just perfect in there. That's right. I was wondering if it's going to have enough salt because you only add a little bit, right? But it tastes amazing. I'm going to go in for another mouthful. And this dish is a healthy dish with all the ingredients that you add in here, the vegetable and everything is very healthy. Cheers. I think I can make it on my own yes, now. You can. <laughs> yes, you can. And since I have the video... If I'm missing anything, I'm going to try back. And to go with it is the cucumber pickle. That cornmeal really tastes nice. Like I can't explain how, what the texture is like, but it really goes well together. This is the pickle. Mm. This is cucumber from your garden. So fresh. The crunch is still in there. We'll have that nice lime flavor to go with it. Everything is tied in well. Such a perfect dish. So today, my plate have a Barbados dinner on it. Let me know what you have on your plate today. And I hope you guys enjoy this recipe cooking with Sister Carol. Gideon or Bajan? Our Bajan dinner today. And she said um, Barbados. Bajan people have this on a regular Saturday or a during the week meal because it's very easy to prepare. So I want to say thank you guys for watching. Stay blessed, stay safe. Bye for now.